clever girl. Hey guys, me, host Super Bizarro. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. I got the T-Rex. And I got the Velociraptor. Clever girl. I really can't wait to open these guys. I, I, I'm thinking about waiting for these to drop in price and grabbing two more Velociraptors. So I've got three. But I'm not sure yet. But I'm definitely going to be collecting this line. I love Jurassic Park. It's a part of my childhood. And I can't wait to grab more of these. So guys, I'm going to break into these packagings and we're going to open these up and take a look at these Funko Pops because they're awesome. I'm really liking them. My only gripe so far though is, I thought the T-Rex was going to be an XL Pop. Why is it just a regular size pop in a box sideways? It's really weird. And also, is this the first time they've done a sideways pop box? Let me know in the comments, for those of you that are a bit more into the pops than me. So guys, as you can see, this is number 548, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, as a part of the 25th anniversary of Jurassic Park. You can also get a bunch of other awesome ones in the collection, including Dr. Ian Malcolm, um, Dr. Alan Grant, John Hammond, the Velociraptor, the Diplosaurus, and the Tyrannosaurus Rex Velociraptor, and Dennis Nerdry as well. Um, as well, you can get a chase version of this particular dinosaur without the uh, frills on. He's got them back, so I'm really looking forward to seeing that as well. And like I said, I've also got 549, which is the Velociraptor to review here. And uh, I'm really thinking about getting two more of these, just so I've got three. Because in the film... In the film, you know, the, the, the bit, the big deal of, you know, you see one straight ahead. You don't see the two coming from the sides. <laughs> so let's open this one first, guys. I'm interested because it's probably the reason I watched Jurassic Park so many times as a kid is for this bad boy. And he does come with a base as well. It's the Velociraptor. I'm hoping that when Jurassic World drops as well, they release a bunch of pops and we get blue. Um, so I would like blue as a pop as well, that'd be pretty sick. Did they release a blue one already? Because I don't remember seeing Jurassic World getting many pops, other than the humans. I don't remember them getting dino pops. Before I actually attach that, actually, is, does it actually stand without? No. The head's, the head's too heavy. The head is quite heavy, so yeah, you do need the, uh, the base, sadly. That does not want to go in though. Yeah. <laughs> kind of forced it in a little bit. So this is the Velociraptor, very well painted actually. I really like the way they've done this one. Looks just like the original idea of the Velociraptor from the first movie. Obviously, as when that came out, that was what we thought Velociraptors looked like. Obviously now there's been a lot of scientific research put into it and actually they're feathered and uh, lots of other creatures, but I like how they explained that away in the last Jurassic World movie. You know, the fact that they, they wouldn't look the same because they've used the DNA of a frog to bring these back to life. I'm trying to, still trying to get that peg in. I've seen a lot more now, there we go. So all in all though, a very nice pop on a nice stand. I'm liking the way this one turned out. I like the fact that they've painted the mouth dark, so it looks very deep. It looks almost like the pop, you know, could swallow things down. Awesome. Got the little, got the dew claws as well. <laughs> yeah. You will see that one a little bit better when we go to the desk cam, guys. But let's bust out the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Again, I wish this was a big one because we, we can actually get the, um, the release in a micro version of the Jeep. Not Funko, but um, I think Hot Wheels are releasing the Jeeps. And it would be awesome to have an XL pop of the Tyrannosaurus Rex to go with them. If you're in the UK as well, guys, and you are looking for Dr. Ian Malcolm, because uh, he also comes in, the, in a sideways box, where he's laid down with his cut leg like in the movie. If you are looking for that pop here in the UK, it is a Smiths exclusive. So your local Smiths is going to be the best place to find that one. But I think they are rare as gold dust because I've not seen one yet. In the, I've not seen one in the flesh anywhere. I've just decided to get hiccups. <clears throat> That's better. 
So guys, here is the awesome Tyrannosaurus Rex. Have they reused the same mould? They've more or less reused the same mould. Um, a few differences though, I like how they've done all the different textures for the head and the face, that's come out really well. I'm um, liking the tongue as well, just peeling off the top of the, the, uh, the teeth there. The teeth as well looking very awesome. I might watch Jurassic Park tomorrow actually, I've not seen it in a long time again. So I might have to sit down and watch it with my new pops. What do you think of the Jurassic, uh, Jurassic Park stuff, guys? Are you looking forward to the new merchandise for the new movie? Would you like to see more Jurassic Park merchandise get reviewed on the channel? Let me know in the comments below. If you did enjoy this video as well, please let me know. Um, I really like reviewing pops, but if it's not something you guys like, you know, obviously I want to cater my content to stuff you guys want to watch, as well as stuff I like to create. But yeah, I really like this pop. I like how it came out. I think they've done a really good job. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. The only thing I wish they kept the same was when I was a kid, all the merchandise that Kenner created for the original Jurassic Park, every Jurassic Park item had JP tattooed sort of on the, on the legs. It would have been awesome in keeping with that tradition of having the official Jurassic Park merchandise to have the little JP logo on the hip or something like in the uh, like, 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 like all the original toys. Guys, I'm really looking forward to the new Jurassic World merchandise dropping because apparently there's going to be the gorillas, some of the classic ones as well, like the ones I remember as a kid, like the Velociraptor where you could duck its head and stuff. Um, they're going to be re-releasing that. Uh, obviously, they're going to be blue and all the other ones from the new movie, but you can also get the classic versions. Definitely going to be picking one of those up uh, for review. I'm definitely going to be getting the T-Rex as well. So let me know in the comments which ones you want to see me review on the channel. But guys, I am now going to go to the desk cam and give you guys an up-close personal look at some of these awesome dinosaurs. Because they are pretty sick and I really like how they turned out, like I keep, like I keep saying. So I'm going to go to the desk cam so you guys can get a better look. Wow, these turned out so well. Really like how these turned out. They look so good. What do you guys think? Are you a fan? <laughs> Clever girl. <laughs> so let's take a look at the Velociraptor again, guys, up close. Um, I really wish they'd done more with the pupils. Obviously, in the film, we know that they have, like, the weird eyes. It would have been nice to see that actually put into the design uh, instead of just the plain yellow. Um, but I like, they've the done a lot of scalar work to the skin, it looks really detailed, so I'm really glad they did that. I just wish that continued throughout the body, as the body doesn't seem to be as stylized as the head. It seems like they spent all the time making the head, and then kind of just put a few carvings into the body. And as well, they seem to have used a very similar mould when they made the T-Rex, because he's in a very similar position. Yeah, nice Velociraptor. Does it does it actually remind you of, 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 the, of the Velociraptor from the movie, guys? Would you maybe have liked to have seen a bit of a longer snout? I think I would have done. At the moment, the snout seems a little bit short. Would it be nice to have that long ear just that little bit more? <laughs> but let's just move him out of the way. Because the big daddy T-Rex is coming for review. <laughs> Roaring onto our screens. <laughs> but it's, again, it's a really awesome pop. I really like how they've done this. I'm um, liking the darker pattern on top of the lighter pattern. That seems to have made it really well. And it's got like shadow and shade put in there. So that's really cool. Again, they spent a lot of time on this scale of work here on the head to then not really do much with the body other than a few carving marks. But what do you guys think of these pops? Let us know in the comments down below. Are you excited to see Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom? Will you be getting any more of the merchandise from Jurassic Park 25th anniversary as well? Let us know in the comments. Like I said, I'd love to hear back from you guys. I always love hearing what you guys have to say and think about these awesome figures. Because without you, the channel would be nothing. 
So please let me know in the comments below your thoughts, guys. And remember, life finds a way. So guys, which one is your favourite? Let me know in the comments down below. If you're new to the channel, guys, smash that subscribe button. It would really support us, really help us out, and helps keep making awesome videos. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and until next time, may the force be with you. Bye!